this is my primary weapon system that I'm going to be using for Milsom West. Uh, the main change I've made to this gun is the optic, and I also shortened up the exterior barrel length a little bit, the internal barrel length didn't change at all. Um, but as you can see, it's a more or less almost CQB length package, it's an Umbrella Armory Crytac featured with PTS accessories, sights, small device, pretty much the front to back is all PTS, especially the stock. The APS stock gives me tons of battery space, which it's nice to have that space because you're gonna have big batteries in here that'll last you the entire weekend, given that at Milsom West, the amount of firefights you get into is not as intense as a typical, um, you know, Milsom or other events that you go to, it's very paced, so you probably won't run out of battery anyways, but you have plenty of space in there for that. Um, also have the EPMs in here, good to go as well. Uh, Centurion Armors rail system, very, very low profile. But the optic is the main thing that I want to talk about this rifle. So this rifle is super lightweight, and you know, I've been struggling with what optic to run recently. Red Dot, uh, Elkan Spectre, or something like that. I mean, obviously if you're running an impression, then your optic's gonna be fit for that impression. This is like my freeform build. So I kind of went with this Vism variable magnified optic that we actually ended up getting for SHOT Show. But what I realized is like, I have really horrible eyesight and I'm finding myself in situations where I like the red dot because it's quick to engage, but I can't really see the BBs too well. And there's some times where having a magnified optics nice because you could adjust your fire from the drop or the wind that the BBs are doing and turn your rifle into either way to kind of counteract that wind. But it's much easier to see if A, you have good eyesight, or B, you have magnified optics. What's cool about this is What's that cool in its that? lowest magnification, it is almost like a red dot in terms of I have an illuminated reticle uh, it's on 1.1 mag, and 1.1 mag, actually, it's almost like putting reading glasses on. I kind of see things in my room that are a little blurry. When I glass them, even on 1.1 mag, I can actually see it much, much clearer. Now, if I want to look at an objective, or like I see a bunch of dudes and I'm not sure who they are, or if I want to be able to you know, walk my rounds in much more effectively and targets are further out, like at 200 feet or beyond, I'm gonna switch this bad boy over to 4X and glass it again, and now I have magnified optic. And what I really like about this setup is it's extremely lightweight. The Alcan Spectre is really, really, really heavy. I feel like this distributes the weight a little bit more, but it's still very, very lightweight. Uh, and what I like about it is you can still run offset red dot sights if you really want to, which or uh, offset iron sights if you really want to as well. But the basically the variability all the way down to 1.1, I mean, unlike running a red dot with a magnifier and having to flip that around and everything like that, I just like this, it's one nice package. It's just super easy to use and engage with and flexible for all scenarios. So because of how my eyesight's been acting up lately, you may be seeing me run these a heck of a lot more because they are pretty damn tight. Um, one thing too is I have a 51.0 in here and I have my Enforced Weapon Mind Light. You never know when you're gonna need it. Uh, they're typically obviously noise and light discipline. Usually this is more so for indoors than anything. Really not gonna be using it too much outside. Um, but yeah, my build is pretty straightforward. Pretty much nothing you need, nothing you don't. Um, uh, obviously I run my Brain Explorer cam up there. Uh, but yeah, this thing shoots about 380 to 400 feet per second. I gotta get a chronid again, but uh, yeah, this is what I'll be running at Milsom West. I like it, it's lightweight, it's flexible, has some good ambidextrous features, but the optic in tune with the rifle seems to be the perfect solution for there because Rostov is very much so about range and very much so about being able to identify enemies at distance and be able to use the swells to maneuver on them and to engage the enemy and you know, using tactics and weapons and tactics and stuff. But yeah, this is more so my rifle build. I'm definitely glad I uh, put this piece of glass on there because I'm much more confident now that I'll be able to see what the heck I'm shooting at. So this is my loadout, I guess you could say rifleman's loadout for NATO for Milsom West. Uh, specifically, we'll be fighting at uh, Rostov this uh, upcoming weekend. Uh, I already went over the rifle, but I'm just giving you guys a look at what it looks like with the kit. Um, so really cool rifle setup, um, definitely digging it, and of course the variable optic as well. Now, going over the gear real quick, I've worn all this stuff before. I mean, whether it's a combat top or this style uh, BDU or whatever combat type uh, top or whatnot. Um, it's more so about the vest. The vest is a, uh, as you can see, I forgot to clip this little bad guy right there. Uh, the vest itself is an LBX 0300S. Uh, very small, lightweight plate carrier. You're not gonna need much. Um, with, when it comes to plates at Milsom West, obviously it has to meet that 
uh, weight requirement. Uh, so you can use the two, two tourniquets. I keep one on my leg. Uh, I also have one tourniquet right here. Um, so you can always pick and choose based on your unit SOP or whatever, where you're gonna put the tourniquets. Haley D3 system, uh, this is the heavy specifically. I like the heavy because I can run it with 308 style stuff. I can run it with 556 style stuff. If I end up switching weapons at the op and I end up with a 308 weapon, I can use it with this system. System also clips directly into my plate carrier with these little adapters here. So my 300S is pretty much good to go. I'm probably gonna have my phone right here. Um, just so I can record stuff or if I have a map or whatnot for land navigation. Also got my handy dandy little gloves. Now what's cool about these is these are the uh, Gen 2 vented gloves. Uh, and what's cool is they work with phones. Um, so nice and durable and flexible. They just have uh, that nice kind of middle ground between the standard glove, you get a little bit more ventilation here and of course the ability to use the phones is really, really nice. Helmet wise, MTAC Flux carbon fiber version with the multi-cam helmet cover. I kind of modified it and I added the uh, Orion Design Group uh, um, additional counterweight pouch here. Even though there's one built in, I just like having this one here instead. Got a Mohawk, uh, Mohawk camera as a backup camera. Uh, pretty much keeping it simple. You really don't need that much shit on your helmet when you're running around these things. Uh, other than maybe like a light on, on your head for when you're walking around at night and you want to trip on some someone or something when you're going to take a piss at night. Uh, but as you can see, this the setup is very simple. I've got some magazines right here just showing you. And um, I have the little inserts, the MP2 inserts from Haley Strategic in the D3. I've had this chest rig for a long time. In fact, I've had this from, I believe, I think it was the first Milsom West. So I've had this thing for a while. But as you can see, very simple setup. You really don't need a whole lot. My hydration system is already built into the plate carrier um, with the core performance ice plate. So I've got my little uh, hydration line right here. And what's cool about the anything that's made by LBT, they basically have stuff that or cable ties or whatever that's built into the vest. So my hydration line is more or less consolidated already. Very simple setup. You don't need a lot when you're running around the hills of Fresno. Less is more. So it's almost I would say chest rig recce territory just because of the hills itself. Although I, I kind of like having my ice plate on me, so I'm going with the plate uh, plates uh, setup. So more or less, this kind of gives you an idea of what my rifleman setup is going to be like for Nelson White.